الله الرحمن الرحيم. Reciting a prayer for his late sister, family and members of the Muslim community gathered at the Regent Park Community Center to honor 42-year-old Bilkis Khanum and her unborn child. Khanum was walking home after dropping off food for her sister-in-law last Thursday evening. As she used the crosswalk to cross Queen Street East near Sackville, a 70-year-old man driving a Cadillac struck her. I cannot speak about this particular case, if it was a, a case of destructive driving, but it's pretty obvious that the driver did not see uh, uh, this uh, lady crossing and, and the tragedy happened. Khanum was rushed to hospital where she later died. Life-saving measures were also performed to try and save the unborn child named Safa, but Safa was pronounced dead the following day. Khanum leaves behind her husband and three children. I request to every driver, please, who is the driving the city, please be careful and be careful because one small mistake make life is finished. Off camera, her 21-year-old daughter Lamiza bravely talked about her mother. She taught her children to be resilient and she taught her children to be patient. Holding his five-year-old brother, Aryan, Khanum's eldest son, Takib, shared this message. Everybody here, or all the young ones here, most likely have a mother or a father. I want you guys to go home and tell them that you love them because you don't know when the last time you say it will be. One week before Khanum was killed, Toronto City Councillor Chris Moyes says he was in the area identifying dangerous intersections, including Queen and Sackville. He's now expedited a motion to replace that crosswalk with a traffic light by 2025. I've also identified about half a dozen um, uh, streets in and around the region park where there are crosswalks and asked transportation staff to look at um, turning those into street lights. It's unclear at this time if the driver who struck Khanem will face charges. However, MPP Kristen Wong Tam believes Ontario's distracted driving laws should be more strict. We must do everything we can to ensure that justice is brought forward so that you kill a life, you kill two lives. It is a much more measurable punishment than the loss of $1,000, three different merit points, and the license suspension of three days. A GoFundMe page has been set up to financially help support the family. Raheem Ladani, CTV News.